What's up guys, it's Juggling Cody here and today I'm going to be juggling some machetes. Just make sure that you don't try this at home unless you're a trained professional like me. Now in case you were wondering if these blades are sharp, well let's test it out real quick. Oh yeah. Glad that wasn't my hand. Juggling machetes feels a lot more intense than juggling clubs, but thankfully my confidence in my abilities runs a lot higher than my fear of becoming injured. Otherwise, I would not have made this video. But right now, I'm only doing the standard cascade pattern. Just keep watching to see the tricks get progressively harder until I'm doing these things behind my back. Now what's harder than juggling machetes? How about doing it in reverse? Every throw I'm making here is backwards from the cascade. For example, if you were to rewind me juggling trick number one, it would look just like this. The 4-2-3 is a trick that every juggler can do. It's often referred to as the W because of the way it looks. Thankfully, it's also one of the least scary tricks you can do with knives because it feels like you are just throwing up one machete at a time. This allows me to focus more on catching the very small handle instead of the blade. Whenever there is a machete flying in front of your face, the audience seems to love it. Thankfully, I practiced all of these tricks many times with clubs before I even attempted them with knives. And just because the trick is done so often with clubs, I place it at number 4 on this list. Most definitely the safest way to juggle any sort of knife is to keep the blade away from you at all times. Now, this may seem pretty obvious and simple, however, flats is one of the hardest types of throws that you can do with the club because they want to naturally rotate when you throw it up. In order to keep it from doing that, you almost have to put a backspin on the blade as you throw it. At number 6 on this list, I have tennis. Now, I may be terrible at the actual sport, but thankfully not the juggling trick. It's very similar to the half shower except that instead of every machete being thrown over the top of the pattern, it's the same one going back and forth like a tennis ball over a net. Doubles are a very scary trick to do. Instead of rotating the knife once, I rotate everyone twice, hence the name. The tricky part is following the knife with your eyes because in order to make it spin twice, you flick it up faster. So every throw has to be perfect or otherwise you could be missing a finger by the time you are done. The 5-3-1 is a trick that requires three different types of throws and the first one thrown is the last one caught. Doing this with knives was scary because for a millisecond, all three knives are out of your hands in the air and your eyes have to follow all the handles super closely. By far the coolest looking trick that you can do with knives is chops. Chops is a very fast paced juggling trick that you need to learn with clubs before trying it with knives. This trick is centered around the idea of catching a club and slicing down into the middle of the pattern, then at the bottom flipping it back up to the other hand, and every knife goes through that cycle. Now, watching this trick in slow motion is the best way to learn and see what's really going on. At number 10, I have a trick called underarms. It's quite obviously just throwing the knives under my arm. But the reason I ranked it so high up the list is because it's a type of body throw and whenever you involve throwing a knife around a part of your body, it makes things more dangerous to do. This trick requires no explanation on why it's ranked so high. Its difficult throws combined with the wobbliness of the blades makes it very difficult to catch each one. Now, I've never actually seen anyone do the Mills mess with machetes, so I figured I'd give it a try, and after watching it in slow motion, I'm glad I did. By far the scariest trick on this list is back crosses. Every throw I make comes super close to my head, so I gotta focus all my brain power on keeping the two from colliding. Guys, thank y'all for watching. Probably one of my scariest videos that I've ever made for obvious reasons. If you wanna buy those machetes, uh, just don't do what I did. I wouldn't recommend it. Now, if you enjoyed this style of content, make sure to click on this video or this video. I'm gonna be doing some juggling tricks for those different props. But until next time, peace.